And now we have uh, Speeway. Good yeah. morning. Good morning. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. I see you're into the Valentine's uh, yeah, kind of attire. I'm in the, I think Cupid is about to give me a, to pay me a visit. What is it? Is it is it Valentine's or maybe you're one of those Scottish people? Valentine's. Oh, but okay. If you want me to be Scottish, I can be Scottish, but today is Valentine's. <laughs> Jeff Jacafella, what's yes, up? Yes, yes, yes. It's always great to be here. Good morning. Happy Valentine's. Yeah, Valentine's to you too. To Do you here. even have a Valentine's? Happy Friday. Thank you. <laughs> But why is everyone asking me that? I got a question from her as well. I got a question from Mbezi as well, asking me if I have a valentine. Or maybe, do you, do you have valentines? As in, how many valentines do you have? It's supposed to be one, isn't it? Oh, okay. Yes. I'll just get, just get clarity. <laughs> 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 well, earlier on, I was just talking about giving the viewers a, a hint in regards to what is happening in the entertainment world. And mm -hmm. this time around, I was talking about um, the, the, the Drunk in Love uh, single done by uh, Beyonce? Yes, yes. Uh, drunk in Love, uh, we all know the song. Everybody loves the song. I mm -hmm. personally love it. And it is doing very well on the Billboard 200. And it's currently on number one for the fourth week. Mm -hmm. So all those um, Queen Bee lovers, that must be some good news for you guys. Yeah, Fantastic. You can proceed and give us a little bit of, uh, more of what is happening in yes. the ENT News. Yes, and for the people that are Chris Brown fans, so you mm -hmm. might want to know that Chris Brown and his girlfriend Kurek Tran will be spe ha spending a happy Valentine's like everybody else. Today is a first very special day for them. They will have a romantic uh, uh, holiday mm. at the rehab. We know that Chris Brown is in rehab right now mm -hmm. and um, I think he, of course he's been there for he's been sent there for 90 days so he'll be re being released this month mm -hmm. so they'll be have spending their valentines there having a romantic time and all that so we look forward to them doing that and some good news for tony braxton and baby face Babyface and Tony Braxton heading for their highest charts album this year. Now, the musical reunion of Tony Braxton and Babyface on their new album, uh, Love, Marriage and Divorce, has been profitable. The duo are aiming for the top five on next week's Billboard 200. So, mm. the two will be releasing a duo album that's Love, Marriage and Divorce. So, we're all looking forward to that great album. Now, these two are gurus, really. Mm -hmm. Gurus, definitely. Yeah. And for the much, those people that love mature music, mm -hmm. I'm sure they'll, they'll be heading forward for to For us people album. that love yes. mature music. Yes. yes, and I think it's a good time for, you know, uh, for, for them to do a collaboration. Looking at the period, is, you know, mm -hmm. it's, yeah, it's, uh, it's that fun. period. I mean, both of them are known for their nice somewhat slow and touchy music uh, mm -hmm. i remember the time when you're trying to you know this time around valentine's you want yes. to, you want to send something yeah. to your loved one and oh you'd you'd want to have a baby face album <laughs> in, in your yes. house and you you're listening to the lyrics right now and mm -hmm. then you're mm -hmm. trying to get a verse or something that you can write but to you your, can write on the card, on like a card mm -hmm. and, and send <laughs> you your loved one yeah, yeah. i mean i wonder I if you could do, what you do i wonder if you could do that with the zambian <laughs> lyrics right now because actually very good if you're writing it in that you know in our local language in any makukonda especially per day manga here nikakona leo sininga lindi likukona leo You are watching the Sunrise Funky Friday and today is the 14th of February 2014 and this is the Love Day, Valentine's Day. And that is what we're talking about today. What's for Valentine's? You tell us about it. Hey, guess what? Coincidental or ironic? Valentine's Day together happening with International Condom Day. Yeah, so let's celebrate the love and let's use the condoms. Later on, we're talking about, uh, we're expecting some people who come to come in to talk about the... Uh, tournament that is going to be taking place in karate and uh, these guys are really upset because you guys hacked Chinese people and they happen to be their masters so watch out because they are coming back on <laughs> or uh, revenge or Jeff or yes Jeff or you watch out or good morning <laughs> <laughs> well we continue with um, the breakfast show and uh, right now we're looking at uh, the guru who's going yes. to take us through and understanding the issue of the hashtag. Uh -huh. Nyembezi, welcome. Thank you. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. You, you look, you look Valentine's in red. Yes, yes, yes. Red is the color. Ah, I see. Yes. I see. And I guess we'll, we will be knowing why red is the color yes, soon. Yes, yes, definitely. We have a lot of different views as to why people wear red on Valentine's Day. Yeah, we'll be looking into that. But uh, firstly, let's look at the hashtag. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, so I heard you guys misusing hashtag, like uh, hashtag this, hashtag that. Mm -hmm. So what is a hashtag? 
a hashtag is a word or a phrase preceded by the hash symbol, mm -hmm. and it's used on social media platforms to identify posts, tweets on a certain topic, then it's used to chat with people. So, for example, you could search for hashtag Sunrise Funky Friday, and you receive posts related to Sunrise Funky Friday. So that's what a hashtag is. When and where is this hashtag to be used? Is it in any social media or it's specific to certain uh, medias? Well, it started with Twitter, mm -hmm. but it's now also on Facebook. It's come alive on Facebook and people are just using it generally, even in texts, anywhere you like. So really, you can use it anywhere. There are no limits. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But again... Like you said earlier, people are misusing it. But I think it's a fun way of them expressing themselves. I'm sure many of you of you have seen how people will write, maybe they'll post, at, uh, hanging out with my friends, hashtag fun, hashtag enjoying, hashtag laughs, hashtag lunch. That's yeah. just all uh, a way of just having fun and trying to misuse or just play around with the hashtag mm -hmm. symbol. But I think it's just a cool way that young people can uh, use to to post stuff and just share with your friends. Hashtag Jeff. Hashtag, uh, <laughs> hashtag Valentine's. Valentine's. No, <laughs> having talked Valentine's about hashtag, yeah. our hashtag for uh, the Sunrise on Friday is uh, in Beze? Sunrise Funky Fresh. Hashtag Friday. Sunrise Funky Friday. Friday. Yes. <laughs> Hashtag Sunrise Funky Friday. Well, we continue with uh, the Sunrise Breakfast Show. And, of course, we want to understand and know what it is that... Why is it that uh, we were red on, on Valentine's Day? Red because most people think red is a color of love. So since Valentine's is about love and spe sharing it with someone special, so people give red gifts and red presents. Yeah. It's Really, I don't know why people were red, but then it, I think they just go with the flow, like tie way back and all that. That's the reason why. I think the reason why people wear red on Valentine's is because it's um, it's like a uniform, basically. Uh, it's also about what people think about about love, being red, and, and all that. They are red on Valentine's because they just found this custom since they were born, and just because everyone wears red on Valentine's, they think they wear red. But I don't see the, necess the necessity or the importance of wearing red on Valentine's Day. Um, I think people wear red on Valentine's Day because I think red is a sign of love. And then the other reason is because everyone else does it. So everyone thinks it's right for them to do it. I think that's why people wear red. I seriously do not know why people wear red. I just found people wearing red. Red is a color of love, I think. And... Um, Although I don't really believe in Valentine's. I don't really understand because I was born people, I found people wearing red, so it's, I, I really don't believe in the Valentine thing. So, yeah. To me, red expresses love to everyone. So I think, to me, I would just say that that's, it indicates, it shows love to everyone. It's a person as you, putting, as you are putting on a red. I believe it's just a belief that you should wear it when it's Valentine's. I'm not sure why they wear it, but it's a belief. Uh, I don't know so much. I can't say so much about Valentine's because I've never celebrated it for some time. Sunrise Breakfast Show, we are back and we're talking International Condom Day. We have got two guests in the studio that are actually uh, more familiar to a condom than I am. Mm -hmm. uh, but Jeff, yes. you can uh, quick start uh, the game. And in the studio with us, we have been joined by Mr. Ntali. Uh, Mr. Ntula, rather. Yes. Simenga, Prevention Program Coordinator and AIDS Healthcare Foundation. And Patience Chisanga, Communication Specialist of Zambia Healthcare Communication Trust. Guys, welcome to the studio and welcome. Happy Valentine's to you, though. Yeah, happy thanks. Valentine's. <laughs> yes, and yes, happy yes, International yes, Condom, Condom Day. Day. Yeah. <laughs> okay. um, tell us more. What is International Condom Day? Just brief about it. Uh, for AIDS Healthcare Foundation, uh, this is uh, basically just an informal holiday. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're just uh, utilizing or riding on the Valentine's, the official <laughs> holiday, which is an informal official holiday, Valentine's Day. And uh, for us as uh, health promoters who are promoting positive health, we feel that this is a, an opportunity which we can maximize on, especially when you look at the escalating statistics with regard to HIV AIDS. Mm. And also we, we feel that couples and people who are in the love atmosphere uh, need to keep the promise of, uh, I mean, uh, positive health as well as the uh, prevention of HIV AIDS. Yeah. Okay, so maybe just if they can just tell us a brief, 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 uh, you know, history of this day. 
patients? Well, basically, the day, um, like Ntula has said, mm -hmm. was uh, started a couple of years ago, and its uh, main purpose is to uh, campaign towards the promotion of condom use as the main tool to use uh, to prevent HIV, pre uh, HIV infection as well as uh, STIs and the prevention of unwanted for or unplanned for uh, pregnancies. So basically, that is the backdrop of this particular day, and it's commemorated in line with Valentine's Day, mm -hmm. not because we are encouraging sexual activities on this particular day, <laughs> but we want to... Oh, <laughs> um, <laughs> strategically, uh, but you know, on Valentine's we, Day. We, we want to understand that uh, people indulge and we want people to love with confidence. That's what the campaign is all about. If you're going to love someone with confidence, you need to be sure about your status. You need to be sure that you are protected. On this particular day, we're very pleased to be part of uh, the campaign uh, promotion that is taking place that has been organized by AIDS Healthcare Foundation. And what it is is that we're not only going to be distributing condoms, but there's also going to be counseling and testing, and all these other health services will be offered as well. So it's about loving with confidence it's about people knowing their status you need to know your partner's status you need to know your status if you love your woman or if you love your man you want to ensure that you protect them from getting infected if you're HIV positive for example we want to believe that nowadays people can be in a relationship with someone who is positive and they're negative so we are promoting the condom because we want people's relationships to be uh, at a stage whereby you know I'm positive my man is negative, but we can still have a relationship. Why? Because there's protection available for us. I, I heard you say we are not only going to be distributing condoms. So there, there is distribution going on. Yeah. There free, is free, free distribution free of distribution. condoms. I can get as many as I want. Yeah. As many as you want. I can give you a hundred right now if you and want. We, we have <laughs> where is this distribution <laughs> going to be taking place? Yeah, yeah we, we are having um, uh, two uh, satellite events separately. One mm -hmm. is uh, uh, the love ride and uh, the theme for this event is love is the best protection and it's uh, with red car not red for danger <laughs> 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 yeah so we have uh, we we are hosting the event at Evelyn Horn College and uh, uh, coincidentally or <laughs> coincidentally Evelyn Horn is uh, commemorating the the jubilee uh, celebration so we feel that 50 years mm -hmm. I think they have a very rich history 50 years when you reach 50 life begins at 40 and you go to 50 I think they have a lot to share mm -hmm. uh, with us and we feel that the psyched up youthful atmosphere there I think gives us an opportunity to positively educate uh, the masses about uh, condoms and our target is that uh, 288,000 pieces of condoms it was, it was not, it was not, uh, I don't know, uh, well, it, it was not strategic that you chose Evelyn Horn because maybe you are thinking they are practicing and sex. <laughs> mm. Well, uh, not, not, not really, not really that, but uh, we, we feel that uh, Evelyn Horn have really been very supportive, especially when it comes to HIV prevention message, messages mm. and messaging and also other advocacy related campaigns with uh, regard to HIV mm. and it being strategically located in the central business district of town. I think it gives us an opportunity uh, to even distribute. Uh, we have uh, the intercity bus terminus. We have people going to the west, east, and all corners. So that would, be, would mean that they would distribute condoms across the country. We have free transportation of condoms to reach even uh, the hard to reach places. Mm. If you go to um, a place uh, in Meheba, north, northwestern province, you just stop over and just ask for for a condom, you find that these products are very scarce. Mm. And uh, we, we have some female condoms which we feel that we need to instill some confidence, especially in ladies, mm -hmm. so that people can understand and intelligently discuss with their peers. Mostly what puts people at risk or even youths is lack of knowledge. If a youth, a girl, a first year student can discuss freely and confidently about, uh, I mean, a condom and to wait for the right time, I think that's the best best practice so far. Yeah. And you know, I was actually getting to the female condom. A lot has been talked about about the male yeah. condom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And in and in some cases someone would think on oh, there's only male condom. This time now there's more being talked about about the female condom. 
That's right. that's right, um, Jeff. Is this the, the one that has bracelets? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> actually, they are not bracelets. Those are rings. One of them is the wandering. Mm -hmm. um, you can ask me properly why they call it the wandering because okay. it does wonders. But anyways, uh, like Jacob mm -hmm. said, okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> a lot has been a lot has been talked about the male condom, mm -hmm. but we uh, as Zect, for example, are dedicated to the promotion of uh, the female condom. This is the F. To. It's actually a new uh, generation condom. It's different from uh, the first uh, female condom that was on the market. So this one has been redesigned and it's made out of polymer and not latex. So we just want to empower women using the FC2 because we realize that a number of women out there do not know that there's the female condom available for them and some of them actually despise it because they feel they don't know how to use it or they feel it looks unattractive but we want to empower the woman in a situation where in Zambia the prevalence levels of HIV infection for women is higher than men we want to empower the we want to empower the women to be able to negotiate for protection mm -hmm. you know you understand in a situation where there's uh, this couple the man doesn't have uh, male condoms we want the woman to be the one to say oh honey I have protection so don't worry in case you do not have mm -hmm. any male condoms we have protection so we want to empower the women we want women to be in a decision-making position if, if 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 a woman is married to this man for example is always out every weekend he comes back and then he wants to have sexual intercourse with his wife and he doesn't want to use protection but you don't know where your husband has been you want the woman to be there to say oh I have a female condom so she will be ready and she'll be able to protect herself okay uh, we have to uh, we have to we have we have to go to where you have to where you guys go okay yeah um, so quickly Valentine's what's what are you guys doing Asian? We will be part of uh, the condom promotion campaign, which is taking place at Evelyn Horn College. It's been organized by AIDS Healthcare Foundation in conjunction with Evelyn Horn College. And uh, as Zekt, we're so pleased to be there. So we'll be there the whole day. We'll be talking to people. So people should feel free to come through. And I'm calling um, all the men and all the women out there to come through to Evelyn Horn College. And we'll be able to talk more about the male condom and the female condom, as right. well as counseling and testing. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much for right. coming. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I'll just say uh, it's hashtag mm -hmm. love condom. <laughs> 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 yeah. I like that. Right. Yeah. All right, you welcome back, and you're still watching Sunrise Funky Friday, and I hope that you guys are enjoying the program. Remember, if you'd like to get in touch with us, it's very simple. Just type rise, leave a space, send your mess, type your message, and send that to three three and we'll be able to receive your message and you can also uh, contribute via our Facebook page just type ask movie and send us a message right there now you were talking sports and I know many of you love sports today is a Friday and during over the weekend there's so many things that are happening but with me today I'm joined by the uh, president of the zone 6 karate union and that is mr. million Masubika and the Union General Secretary, Mr. Joe Rugwete. Welcome to the show. Okay, thank you so much. Now, Zambia will be hosting the Zone 6 Karate Union Championships. That will be held in Lusaka from the 26th to the 29th of June. That is this year, 2014. Now, with eight countries over and over 1,000 athletes. Now, Mr. Masubika. Tell us why should why, what what's the Zone Six all about the Karate Championship? Uh, zone Six is a karate organization formed in 1992 mm -hmm. by the Southern African countries. Basically, the idea was to bring the uh, member countries together to have a formal body in which when we compete as Africa, we know that we have our own sector as uh, South Southern African countries, and also to try and um, assist and develop our own athletes to come together, train as a team. Uh, also to try and um, uh, build friendship through sports as Southern African country. Countries. That's why we came up with this uh, organization. Okay, very interesting. Now, why do why do we have this zone, zone six championships? What's the whole aim? The whole aim is to bring our athletes together, and also not just for competition, 
part for interaction, friendship through sports, as well as to ensure that uh, when our people go to compete uh, above this level of Zone 6, they have uh, tried uh, within the region, and when you take them to Africa, you know that they are competing to compete with the rest of the continent, and we take them, when we take them to the world, we ensure that uh, they are ready to compete at that level. That's why we came up with this uh, competition, which is annually, and uh, it is uh, uh, going through all the member countries. Every year we had to move from one country to another so that we keep our athletes competing and preparing them to be ready for international competitions as well as making them fit because you cannot do karate when you are not fit and this makes them fit and being fit in karate also help them to be a mental fit uh, and academically as well. Yes, definitely. And uh, you mentioned that it goes around each member country, the hosting goes around each member country. I've seen Zambia has hosted so many uh, tournaments, championships in different sports uh, disciplines. What benefit does it have for a country? Uh, there are many benefits from hosting this kind of an event. One is for the athletes of Zambia to compete with the support base uh, from the locals. As well, those who will not make it in the team, they will have an exposure of watching the uh, brothers and sisters competing and as well learn from others. And also, it brings uh, tourism to the country. Uh, these are some of the few. And as well, uh, officials from Zambia will have to partake in the event in big numbers. As well, those who will not be part of the team, they will also learn from others how these organizations go also as well. It will be in a, 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 a sort of a assessment measure for the country to, the country national federation to see whether they can host another event above uh, this one or of the same nature. So these are a few benefits which I can just take to say it's very, very important for countries to us so that they can uh, get all these uh, benefits. Okay. And you are based in Botswana, and I believe you are in the country for a reason, which is to inspect the venue. What have you seen so far? Have you already done the inspection or you are yet to do it? Oh, uh, Yesterday we had many meetings. We went to the National Sports Council and also we got the opportunity to meet with the peers at the Ministry of Youth Sports and, and Culture. Ciao. Yes. And uh, we met with the uh, Permanent Secretary at the Ministry and we were welcomed and also they are very supportive and we, after that, uh, visited um, about three uh, facilities in which the local organizing committee have uh, identified to see whether they can uh, choose one from the three. And we were very uh, satisfied with the standard of the facilities we visited. So far, we, that's what we've done yesterday. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much. Now, Mr. Rugete. What uh, appeal would you have for young people, young karatekas, young martial artists with the forthcoming uh, Zone 6 championship that will be hosted in Zambia? What would you say to them that would make them say, I want to take part in this championship or that would make them join karate? Okay, thank you. <coughs> uh, I would like to first of all say happy Valentine's to the young ones. Thank you. Um, karate is a journey. It is, it, is, it is not an event. It is a lifelong sport. And um, you, you can begin training at any stage of your life. But for, for the young ones, uh, I would like to encourage them, to those who are not yet involved in the sport, to come and watch, come and see what karate is all about. It, it is a sport that has got many benefits, not only physical, but mentally. You, you may know it's one of the most disciplined uh, sports in the world. 
So we would like to encourage them to, to come and watch, do something useful with themselves, uh, minimize spare time and, and um, interact with, with other um, children, other athletes. Uh, so we do encourage them to, to uh, participate, not only in karate, but in, in any sporting discipline of their choice. But um, we would like people to come and watch uh, what Zambia is going to offer and the rest of the region in terms of competition. It's going to be a very entertaining uh, event. Uh, it is also going to be an opportunity for the corporate world to showcase their products, their brands. So, yeah, we, 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 we look forward to a memorable event in Zambia this year. Okay, great. I look forward to it as well. Yes, because I have a history of karate. When I was very young, I used to do karate, but then I gave up because I thought it was just too difficult for me. But I believe that you guys and every other young person can do it. Yes. So thank you so much for the interview. Thank you so much for coming to Zambia from Botswana and Zimbabwe. Thank you so much. And I hope that you enjoy your stay. Welcome. Thank you. All right. So that was uh, the people from the karate union. So make sure that if you have a young person or you know somebody who's going to take part in this championship, make sure that you encourage them. We want to see our team winning this championship. So I believe Zambia is going to win. So all the best to the other teams that are going to do it. So right now we'll go on a short break. Remember to send us those text messages and also visit our Facebook page. We want to get in touch with you. Tell us how Valentine's is going for you, what you have planned for today. So we're expecting to have um, a lot of people who would want to come in and uh, do some uh, promotions and advertisements and things like that. So uh, we didn't want to give you the wrong information on how you can do that. Uh, and that is why we brought in a man who formerly used to have uh, quite some lot of hair. Uh, now he's, um, he's a changed man. He's a changed man. He stopped some weed. So uh, yeah, this is uh, Donald. Welcome to the show. Well, thank you so much, uh, Jose. Thanks, everyone, uh, for having me. Mm -hmm. uh, the weed part, Jose, I think he, that was the time I knew you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> when I first met you, I really didn't know the level of sanity. <laughs> What's for Valentine? Uh, well, for me, uh, really, what I would say is that uh, for Valentine's Day today, what I would want to say is uh, I'm in the business of making people enjoy entertaining mm. people I mean the TV business mm. so like uh, you had the crew that was talking about condoms about people you know being able to take care of themselves and their loved ones and everything I would want to ensure that uh, <clears throat> as a person that's in the TV business mm. make sure that people do not indulge themselves in all sorts of uh, crazy activities so I will ensure with your help and everybody else <coughs> uh, from movie TV that we give you the very best of uh, entertainment in terms of what we are going to show you so that you can enjoy a wonderful Valentine's Day with your family, with your loved ones. You sit in your homes and watch TV. You can do everything else that you want to do that you can't do outside because we ensure that as movie TV we give you the very best of entertainment. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, fantastic. And of course, that <coughs> is not going to come in on movie TV alone because Jacob Fella, what do you have on Nimbo today? Nimbo, uh, especially it being a Friday, okay, uh, there is obviously weekend music, but there's one thing that you shouldn't miss every Friday and Saturday. Mm -hmm. This one is a must watch. This is what we call the weekend mix mm -hmm. right, with DJ Shooter, one of our resident VJs. Mm -hmm. It's amazing from 18 hours all the way. You don't even need to go. If you're having a party, what you do is just connect to, to Nimbo. Connect the speakers, connect the TV, enjoy the weekend because you already have a DJ to mix for you. So we've got a house party rocking yes. on Nimbo. Every day, it's not over, only on the weekend. Sunday, check out the um, the, 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 the old time classic in the afternoons. Mm -hmm. Every Sunday in the morning, we'll be having the gospel <coughs> station, but the rhythm of life where we play you gospel local and uh, you know international gospel, and lots, lots, especially in the afternoon, the old time classic, the old school. So you Sunday. have something for everybody. Yes, Sunday yes. is. You know, like I don't know. I want to provoke Donald a little bit here. Is it <laughs> yeah. possible that? Is it possible that? Uh, say, for example, I'm watching. Um, uh, I'm watching uh, a program on movie television. Mm -hmm. Set the People's Choice, for example, which yeah, is going to yeah. be happening tonight. I don't want to go to the disco. Mm -hmm. um, is it possible that if in case I SMS something to the People's Choice, I might just stand a chance of winning a bottle of wine? 
Donut? It is, yes, it, well, it is very possible. Anything is possible on movie TV. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, uh, apart from the bottle of wine, there's so much that you can win. So I, I, I just hope uh, that whatever you're doing uh, mm -hmm. for the show tonight, you've really lined up uh, uh, things uh, for prizes for people to win. I don't have a problem with me and the rest of my team. Mm -hmm. You tell us what you want to give the people, we'll give them. Yes. What we want is the people to get the very best of entertainment, the very best of TV that there's ever been. Mm -hmm. So anything is possible on uh, on movie TV. That's why it's called the cha your channel of choice. There, there, there is this connotation really and uh, I get to have it uh, many a times when it comes to movie TV and you're telling them, look guys, come in on movie TV and we'll show this and the rest of the world will get to see it and they'll say, ah, I can't come in because movie TV is just in Osaka. Don't know. Hell, no. <laughs> movie TV is not. Yeah. <laughs> that was so emotional. <laughs> <laughs> movie TV is not in Lusaka. <laughs> movie TV is nationwide. It's countrywide. You can catch movie TV in the entire African continent. Mm. Movie TV is everywhere. Mm -hmm. I must tell you that wherever, whichever part of the country that you're going to go to today, you will be able to watch movie TV, regardless what people may say that there are other channels that may consider themselves to be much more wider uh, in terms of uh, coverage. Movie TV will give you the widest coverage wherever you go in this country, whichever corner of this country you're going to go to, you'll definitely catch movie TV. All across Africa, you will catch movie TV. I can tell you that many of our people who are... Um, in the diaspora, especially those in the diplomatic missions around Africa, do catch the very first of what's happening in terms of news through movie TV because they are able to watch. And now we've even made it much easier, much simpler mm. for people, and even much better actually, because now it's not only movie TV, it's a whole big combo, it's a bouquet of so many channels all under movie TV. So. Apart from the news, Jeff is already talking about this, the Nimbo channel, you've got the movie combo, you've got the movie prison, you've got all this, and all these people are watching it for free. So Absolutely free. You, you don't even need to go somewhere and queue up and wait or start panicking to say, oh, oh it's almost uh, time for me to pay subscription. No, not with movie TV. Movie TV is everywhere giving you the very best. And, and this is the part where I'll say... Uh, Proudly, Zambia. Absolutely. Yes. yes. So, uh, so quickly, there is uh, on Friday, Funky Friday, we'll be having what we'll be calling um, what's happening. There are those people who want to say, okay, me, I want to, to, to go on Funky Friday. I tell the people that my my hotel yeah. has this to offer. Mm -hmm. My my club has this to offer. You know, my, my, my restaurant has this to offer. What should they do? This is actually uh, the platform where, you know, you can... Uh, come and uh, be able to showcase what you have it could be a hotel it could be a restaurant it could be a club it could be anything this is the show that gives you the opportunity to for you to come and showcase so all you need to do is uh, just simply come over to our offices at uh, uh